So I just wanted to show you how easy uh, and effective you can actually keep your client's programming going even if they do have to revert to working back at home with their own equipment because they really do want someone to keep them accountable. I'm going to show you how to do it. Now what you're doing uh, is putting your client on the exercise only platform. Now you can interchange those whenever the client does decide to take up transformation with you. But first and foremost, if you just want to keep them exercising, get them on the exercise only platform. You and see one. here, I've been constructing Cleo's workouts here. Uh, I've given her two upper body workouts uh, to do. I'm going to build her now a third for a lower body and then an ice workout. I'll show you in another video. But this is how easy it is and this is how you can save a lot of time if you do have 5, 6, 10, 20 clients that you want to keep going this way. So you're simply clicking on the workout. Now, firstly, you need to create the name for the workout. And I'll call this one Sculpt Lower Body. Now, then you can select uh, the weeks that you'd like your client to do this particular workout. Then I'm simply selecting the frequency times per week for this workout. And once I've done that, I can start adding in the exercises. Click Save first, so the workout's saved and now I can actually start adding exercises. So I'll show you with this um, how detailed I've actually made the, the libraries. Now when you actually go to create a workout you can actually save it and I'll show you that in a second because once you've got a great workout you might want to share it with, uh, with a, a lot of other clients that you've got and this will save you time. So when you're selecting your, um, your exercises here with your library Let's say I'm looking for a, a barbell exercise and in particular what I want is a, uh, a barbell split squat. And not only that do I want a barbell split squat, but I want a barbell split squat with a particular um, 30 degree or a particular level. Because as you guys might know, with your squatting and your split squats, as soon as you change the angle you change the whole recruitment pattern. So I'll show you how much detail I've gone into this. Here's the split squats with a 20 degree rear foot raised. So you can have a look. So with each of these videos to save you, rather than going onto YouTube and trying to get all sorts of dodgy um, videos, you'll actually get ones created by Sharon myself, but you also have the capacity to actually add your own videos as well in your own private library. So you can draw from ours, or you can create your own. But we've created a whole series of these here using these different angles. Okay, so just get out of that one. Now, here's one with 30 degrees. So I'll just give you a quick look at that so you actually get to see the differences there. So you actually get the video of me showing how to adjust the actual height. So you can tell that the last video actually used a smaller block than this one. Okay. And then Char actually does a front foot one in this particular video. Okay. So they get that sort of detail and it gives you that sort of flexibility with your programming. So let's add that one. Where are we there? Now obviously you can prescribe the amount of weight used if you want to be that detailed, and I will be here, and the repetitions, you can be as specific as you want. Okay, so that's our first exercise. I'll add another one just so you get an idea. So Let's say now you, the client, you've actually had a brief chat to your client and worked out what equipment they've got, and they might happen to have uh, the odd kettlebell. So I'm going to give my client here a great kettlebell exercise. So the one I'm going to give is a, uh, a front squat with one kettlebell. And again, I'll show you with the videos the quality that we've put into these, particularly even for clients that aren't familiar with using kettlebells much. You'll see here with this one, hopefully it'll stream, there we go. Shah actually shows a novice 
how to actually place the kettlebell in the correct position without swinging and possibly damaging wrists and shoulders. Okay, so they can see the correct execution of the exercise. And even if they can't get to that level straight away, then at least they know what they're aiming for. Okay. So I will add that one. And the weight we'll use is a 10. I want them to do 12 reps on that and two sets. So we'll save that. And obviously you can keep building your workouts in, in this manner. I'll show you with, uh, with one more the versatility. I've also got a whole spectrum of TRX exercises in there in the library, again, that Shah and I have, have done. Now we've also got a series of ball exercises as well. So you can see there, it's going to cater to whatever equipment that your client might have, and even bands. We've got um, a whole series of band exercises there that you can view and prescribe into this. So we're looking for a lower body exercise there. What I might do, I might go back and give my client a, uh, a ball exercise, I think, because my client Cleo loves chasing balls. So we're going to go with um, a ball leg curl. And if you haven't seen those, they're pretty cool. And we've got intermediate, beginner, and advanced. So obviously not using a weight, the reps, 12 and 2 sets. So I'm just showing you how to construct these workouts. So there is our uh, sculpt lower body workout for our client. And obviously with this we'll put um, some instructions there. Good technique. So we can add whatever notes we need to the particular exercises that we want and we hit save. Now you notice there that there was a button also that allowed you to save them to the workout library. So once these workouts are here now, you can simply click and send those to your client. But what I want to do is show you how to save time now you can simply go to the select saved workouts and you've got all your workouts here that you've just constructed and if you happen to want to send this workout to other clients you've got online all you're simply doing is clicking add and that will actually send the workout to the client that you want to and you can even adjust what you want to here you can adjust obviously with the weights and the reps used for another particular client. But that will save you having to construct the whole workout again. So guys, I hope uh, I hope wherever you are, the COVID thing isn't um, disrupting things too much. And always remember there's a solution. And quite often the solution just means making sure that you're working with your client and keeping them accountable and keeping in contact and communication. And this platform allows you to do that in a very easy time efficient way so i just thought i'd share that with you and uh, i'll talk to you soon and i'll send you a couple more videos bye for now